everything was a discovery, everything was new. It was actually a survey of, uh, of true exploration. We were on board the uh, Marine Institute research vessel, the Celtic Explorer. We went to the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, to the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. It's about 1,600 kilometers west of Ireland. That area is part of the spreading center where the Atlantic actually grows. Um, and we were interested to find out how that growth takes place. The Charlie Gibbs Fracture Zone was first mapped in detail in 2015 by the Marine Institute's vessel on a survey that was inspired by the Aora project. They went out and they were on a transit from Canada to Ireland and they had 15 hours of free time. They were really lucky, they got some great weather and they did some very detailed mapping of some of the mountains on the seabed in the Charlie Gibbs Fracture Zone. The Charlie Gibbs Fracture Zone is a double transform fault. So that is a geological term for two parallel scars that traverse the Atlantic Ocean from offshore East Newfoundland to offshore West Ireland. Um, so they traverse the entire North Atlantic. They are deep scars that show the geologists where um, old fault traces are. So we had 10 institutes involved from five different countries. Um, so it was led by me based in Ireland and we had a co-lead from the Geological Survey of Ireland and from the National Oceanography Centre in Southampton. Um, and we also had participants then from Germany, from Canada and from Greece. So during the survey we use high resolution multi-beam bathymetry and that gives us a snapshot of what the topography of the seabed looks like in very high resolution. We also use the ROV Holland One, that is our marine robot, it's our eyes and arms on the seabed. Dredges are like baskets that we can drop behind the vessel and drag along the seabed and these will record samples from the deeper parts of the ocean below three kilometres where the ROV cannot go. We also use core barrels, so they will take a sedimentological record where sediment accumulates on the seabed. We need to map our seabeds so that we can understand our oceans, how they work. Our oceans give us all the air that we breathe, they give us a huge amount of our food, a growing amount of, of food for the world's population. And to understand how the oceans flow, how they distribute heat and control our climate, we need to have a better understanding of the shape of the seafloor because all these currents flow around these huge big mountains that we're just, just starting to discover on the seabed. There's lots of reasons to want to go to the middle of the Atlantic. I mean, we don't know how our ocean has been formed. We don't know what kind of life prefers that environment. Uh, we, don't, we wouldn't even know how to protect that environment if we needed to. So if we don't have the baseline knowledge of what it's like when it's healthy, how are we going to be able to, to protect it in the future? Aora is important because the Atlantic is vast. We all benefit from it greatly through the air we breathe and the food that we eat. And it's just too big for one single nation to take on, to map it, to understand it, to manage all the ecosystems in it. So together we're pooling our resources, we're all collaborating and that way we can get a lot more work done if we share our resources and share the responsibility of managing it. In the area, the Charlie Gibbs Fracture Zone Spreading Centre, we mapped an area equal to County Dublin. Um, we retrieved about 200 rock samples altogether and recorded 86 hours of video footage. Every time I go at sea on a research ship, I'm in awe of, the, of discoveries. Um, I'm really driven by that. I really want to make discoveries. Marine science is truly collaborative, so you have to get a lot of people from lots of different disciplines, from different countries. Marine science is actually just go across borders. It doesn't matter which country it is. You know, we go to international waters and we do this. And it needs this collaboration. It needs these people that are really driven by that sense of discovery.